I believe in myself. I can do this. Let's keep going. Deck number nine here. Early access stream. Ten new brews. Deck number nine. Hashtag sponsor. Big thanks to Wizards for the, uh, the access to the account. Let's do this. Life gain. Now, I've played this deck, I feel like in most early access. I really like the, the Johnny's Pride mate. And, uh, and uh, especially a Johnny Strike to the Pride. But we got some new cards here that are quite good. Uh, Speaker of the Heavens, one mana lifelinker, Vigilance. If you have 27 life or more, makes a 4-4 every turn. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. We got Self of Savior, a card I'm very high on. Um, really good at protecting your threats. Um, when Benevolent Bodyguard existed, creatures were terrible and not worth protecting. Now creatures are awesome and are definitely worth protecting. So Savior is pretty great. We also have Griffin Airy. Two man enchantment that makes two two flyers. Whenever you gain three or more life, which is awesome. And um, Faith Fetters. Kill spell. Gains four life. Alright, so super cool deck. Also Radiant Fountain is really cool. Free life gain triggers. Playing Lurish just straight up. That's the deck. Let's go. Oh, I'm, I'm ready. Save it changes. Let's do this. These are all the decks we've played so far. If you missed them. Yep, on YouTube, um, and again at CoolStuffInc.com. Tomorrow, my article will have every single deck list, my full thoughts, prospects, a letter grade, all that stuff. All that stuff. Faith Fetters was first printed in the original Ravnica. It was actually my very first Pro Tour, Pro Tour Honolulu 2006, um, where I played Zoo and did not, did not want to play against Faith Fetters. Not a great hand here, but it's fine. See, now we draw a Radiant Fountain here and make a 2-2. Two -two. It's pretty good. Pierre de Dreams ran unbelievably bad. Uh, if you missed the video, go watch it. Um, we ran really, really bad. It was pretty, pretty annoying. Scorch Spitter. Wow. I haven't seen a Scorch Spitter in a while. Uh, sure. Come get it. No? All right. Hand needs some help. Hand needs some help. What well, I guess the best chance to dethrone Team or Wreck? None of these decks in their current form are going to be the best deck in the format. This is, you know, the the early access stream is always about just trying out ideas, and then it need to be tuned and, and kind of coalesced to the actual format and so on and so forth. So definitely some cool ideas though in a lot of these decks. This is a beatdown draw. Uh, and that's just place, basic planes. All right, so we're uh, probably in trouble here, honestly. We've got basic planes and a Johnny's. What would they play post combat here? Oh, so this is this is a cavalcade deck, sure. Speaker of the Heavens. I mean, if I cavalcade, we are dead. I can plus this to gain two life, not enough for a two-two. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty, pretty stinky year. Our hand wasn't great to start and panned out horribly. Uh, don't play cavalcade. I am 100% dead this turn. 110 million billion billion percent. Let me not. I mean, I'm gonna definitely assign some blocks. Oh, they have, they have the castle, the. Uh, so, we take two, four, eight, nine, and gain one. I think that's fine. Uh, bless RNG, uh, 
Not around anymore. Banned from Twitch. Twitch block out. Kind of sucks. I actually met Bless RNG at, uh, at DreamHack. But not cool to hear. Okay. So they shocked the the all seed. They're gonna skewer the Ajani. Alright. I guess, sure. Daxos? Okay. So we're like pretty close to dead, but not actually dead yet. If we can gain three life this turn, I mean we can make a, a flyer, is that possible? I don't think so. A Johnny Oh yeah, yeah, we can, we can. It's a Johnny the speaker a Johnny plus. Three, pump the pride mate, make a doo doo. Morning Thunderbird. Yeah, we're actually like, we've looped around so far, we're starting to approach my normal time slot. <sighs> uh. I think we're actually okay this game. Blue Nose Reserve is so much more common, my friend. This is just a, a, a garbage beta test of a soundboard. There'll be so much more. I can't wait to show y'all. That one's for you, Blue Noser. Blouses. Alright. Um, that was close. That was close. Black screen to death, huh? Alright. 1-0 life game. Let's go. All right, it was pretty bad that game too. Pretty bad. Past the aggro. I mean, the aggro test. They they could have easily killed us if their hand was better. Um, so kind of a surprising shock too. It could have just like shocked the the two two and just traded with the one one. But let's go, let's go, let's go. Mono white life gain. Uh. Yeah, it's fine. Trium, Griffinary, alright. Gideon's fine. Im oh cool. I almost built this deck. Improbable Alliance, like the the Simic theme in the draft format is draw two cards in one turn, just like the this theme was in this set. So all the cards are pretty cool. Heliod. Uh, it's like a thrill for a blocker, which would suck. Huh. I think we just Heliod here. Like... Playing Gideon, what's our plus? Like, lifelink walks into a two, you know, a token block. Instructable is just bad. Just play Heliod. Sego. Opt, sure. Alright, see so ya. Yeah. Attacking would have been bad. Ugh. That is gross. This card is really good against us. I think we're in big trouble, folks. This card is, uh, we don't really have any removal, and, uh, this card's probably gonna ruin our day.
They attack Zwie Gideon. Yeah, this is a uh, this is a pretty unbeatable opening here. It feels like. Play primate, it just dies. I even Gideon just dies to just bolt it and then attack the three things. We're in big trouble here. We're in big trouble here. We have Lurus, I guess. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I think we're I think we're some big doo doo. Uh, Gideon plus Hawk would not turn on Helia. That would only be four devotion. That's pretty cool. The fairy plays well with the uh, with this this theme for sure. Me playing Burb is better, but holy cow! Yeah, they should have another op or something. Jesus. Yeah, we, we just can't beat this card. All right, we're just dead. That's fine. All right. Um, yeah, that was a pretty good opening. Honestly. It's a pretty good opening. Iron Crack Power Master, definitely a card that's, like, pretty uh, pretty good. No, I think it's Teferi's cool. Teferi's definitely... It's an even... All the Planeswalkers in my set are very even. They're not too good, not too bad. Um, they're like, they seem very sweet. I agree. Alright, one and one. One and one. Faith Fetters. Faith Fetters would, wouldn't even, even stop the 04, so. Temple of Silence. Second Heliod, not so good. Ooh, a little life gain mirror here. Indulging Patrician. I can't say what words. All right. Um, whenever if you gain the real life, your opponent loses three life. Speaker. I mean, I guess it's just Heliod into a Johnny. Looks familiar. They're going in a little harder than we are. Another Johnny. I mean, Fate Fetters also makes a 2 2, which is pretty nice. A Johnny doesn't really do much. Super awkward hands. Double Legends. There are 26, not 27, thankfully. All right, let's just Faith Fetters here. Uh, wish I could have put it on, on the uh, Tutu, but it doesn't, work out, it doesn't work like that. Speaker number two, Tilt. Oh, the Kaya, Tilt. Don't think we're getting out of this one, folks. Yeah, pretty bad hand. Uh, pretty bad hand. Alright. What are you going to do? 
What are you gonna do? Man, this is a yeah. Black might be might be good. I I played black in the uh, again my cool step video for Monday. Um, it was more combo focused, but some of the black cards are really really good. Yeah, one more game, one more game. This deck. Remember, folks, check out, check out Coalesce Apparel. Super comfy, super nice, great fun designs. Tons of new designs, too. Coalesce Apparel, that shop. Check them out. Promo code GYM10, 10% 10 off your order. Coalesce Apparel. Dot shop. I mean, sand's basically the nuts, so sure. Huh. <sighs> Let it rip. Karn's Bastion. Stone Coil Serpent. Cool. It's got a reach. It's got reach. Be aware. You need to be aware of that. I don't know why it has reach, but it does. But it does. Palladium Mirror? This is definitely an Ugin the Spirit Dragon deck. Um, be Mush here? Play Lurus. Seems pretty good. Trade Hawk for counters, then play Lurus. Yeah, they're not blocking the Pride Mates, I don't think. Three colors. Huh. Yeah, Dog and Lurus is very good for sure. Whoa, doggy. Ugin the Ineffable. Man, they're gonna Ugin the Spirit Dragon me next turn. It sucks. And a free Steel Overseer? That's adorable. Alright, yeah, we're definitely getting Ugin next turn. Like, the like they're, they're real Ugin, they're not this crappy Ugin. Oh, that's gonna be so bad for us. It's gonna be a terrible day. Alright, um... Jones, resub. Thanks so much. So, if I close my eyes, it won't happen. God is not found yet. Yeah. Keeper Mulligan. Putting Ugin the Spirit Dragon in standard was a good idea. Keeper Mulligan. Putting Ugin the Spirit Dragon in standard was a good idea. And you're watching on YouTube, let me hear your thoughts in the comments. I just don't see how Ugin the Spirit Dragon makes standard a better format. Like, all the ramp cards are already too good. It just like... I just I just don't see the tangible benefit of adding Ugin to, Ugin to, uh, Ugin to the format. But... All right, well, this deck sucks. Uh, it, it's funny because like, I built this deck and then I built the black-white deck to play in the Cool Stuff video and the black-white deck just seemed much, much better. So yeah, I think you, you gotta play black in this deck uh, for sure. Um, yeah, that's all I got. YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. Tenth deck is coming, YouTube.